Today we are going to study about the layering, different types of layering. Just for example, simple layering, compound layering, tip layering, mound or stool layering and air layering. We are going to study about this. It comes under artificial vegetative propagation in plant. What is layering? We have to understand first. Layering is an artificial method of vegetative propagation in which stem of plant is buried into the soil to produce root and new plant is developed. Different methods of layering. There are five major methods of layering. One is simple layering, second compound layering, third tip layering, fourth mound or stool layering and fifth one air layering. Now what is simple layering? Let's talk about the simple layering. This diagram represents the simple layering. In this method, the stem of the lower part of the parent plants, which are older than one year, is pulled from about 20 cm down from the tip towards the ground and is buried into the moist soil. After some time, usually 2 to 3 months, root develops from the buried stem. It is then left to grow for few months. At the end of the rainy season, the new plant is detached from the parent plant from the sharp end and transferred to the nursery band. This way, simple layering is done. Compound layering. What is it exactly? In this method of artificial vegetative propagation, many sections of the long stem of plant are buried into the ground, as shown in the figure. Then. Each of buried part develops root into the soil. Later, from each of the node, new plant develops. Okay, let's go to another one. This is tip layering. What is it? How it is done? It is one of the method of layering in which the plant is propagated by bending a stem to the ground and covering 5 to 8 cm of a steep with soil so that roots and new shoots develops from it okay let's go to another one mound or stool layering it is a method of propagation in which woody stemmed plants are cut about 5 to 10 centimeter above the ground and buried to the ground in early spring and the new shoots that they develop are covered with soil to a depth of 20 to 25 centimeter to include root growth which forms individual plants that can be removed as new plant this diagram represents mound or stool layering okay let's go to another one air layering exactly what is it let's talk about air layering in this method about two years plant is selected after the removal of some of the leaves, 2 to 3 cm of its bark is removed around the stem. The fiber between the bark and woody stem is removed by scraping with the help of knife. It helps to stop the transport of food and hormone downwards. It helps for the growth of root from that place. Then the part of the stem from where bark is removed is covered with a mixture of moist soil and moss which is tightly packed by a plastic wrap to prevent from water and air. After 4 to 8 weeks, root arises at that place. After one month of the growth of root, the new plant is cut out from the parent plant and transferred to nursery plant. Okay, five different types of layering. I told you very shortly. Okay, this much for today.